more than 100 people, more than 100 activists traveling with this caravan, many of them trying to put a face on people like Jose Luis, 34 years old, who just vanished in the streets of Mexico, and tonight calling for justice and peace. They were taken alive, and alive we wanted. A chant that now resonates across two borders, a caravan for peace and justice carries the message. Margarita Lopez, 19-year-old daughter, was abducted and killed by drug lords. Was she mixed in with drugs? Estaba mezclada con con drogas o algo? No, mi hija fue sacada y. Her daughter was kidnapped and decapitated, she says. Maria Gonzalez wants President Obama to help her find her son, an American citizen who disappeared crossing the border. She was on the way to work. He had a driver's license, an American driver's license. He was stopped never to be seen y nunca lo volvió a ver. No, él me llamó que iba bien. It is unimaginable. I mean, we've, uh, we, what we know, what we think we know, is over 60,000 people killed just in the last five years since Felipe Calderón launched the Mexican military against the drug traffickers. And these people, are they involved with drugs? Are they innocent victims? Who are they? Many, many, and we don't know how many, have no involvement in drug trafficking or with organized crime whatsoever. Traveling with a caravan and leading the way, a Mexican journalist and poet, whose 24-year-old son was kidnapped and murdered. There is a problem between two countries. Drugs are used here. And then arms go down there. And they're killing you. And that is really the story, what they say, is that the arms going across the border are killing the people, uh, people like Maria Lupita and her son who's missing. And from here, they go to Houston, New Orleans, Chicago, New York, and then Washington, D.C. in about three weeks. Reporting live, Patricio Espinosa, News 4, WOAI. Thanks, Patricio.